22 Vexus 18 foot 10 inch 1880 this is the boat I traded in or I, I bought after I sold this is the boat I sold it's the boat I got after I sold the red rocket I've been fishing out of this boat since February of this year and this is going to be an honest uh, six seven eight nine month whatever it is review I'm running you see I'm running the Garmin lights I'm running the Garmin force troll motor I'm running on 24 volt. I think it gets 80 something pounds of thrust. The cool thing about this troll motor is you, it can run on 36 volt and get you over 100. Let's see, I've been fishing this thing. I haven't been babying it. Um, maybe you can tell how beat up the troll motor is. But it's held up pretty good. Haven't had any issues. I did break that nose cone off. Bass tank was kind enough to give me a new one when I took the boat in to get the electronics done. I'm running that uh, troll motor prop. Obviously running the hydro wave. And TH Marines kind of screwing people on them now. They went up to 500 something bucks on them hydro waves. So I try to find one used because they are not worth 500 bucks. Anyway, I'm running the uh, I'm running four Garmin's. I'm running the 93 SV up front, the uh, 10 inch. I'm running the stow running the stowaway uh, mount here, and this is a 10 inch. I mean, set this up for you that's a 10 inch Garmin 1026 SB and that's how I set it up to run my live scope so this I almost never turn on uh, I use it for mapping and sometimes when I don't when I'm real shallow I don't turn on my live scope and I run the regular 93 so this is the front deck uh, pretty spacious front deck really and truly uh, plenty of room for two people to fish my only complaint about the boat is there's just not enough storage and for an 18 and a half foot boat it's probably got a bunch of storage but um I, sh I need more the reason i bought this boat is because it's the biggest boat i could buy to fit inside my garage so um single axle trailer pretty nice trailer i'm running the 115 mercury pro xs uh very nice outboard got the stainless steel prop came with it um max speed full fully loaded live wells full tank of gas about 45 miles an hour with just me in it half a tank of gas no live well you probably get a mile an hour more but uh, it's not a speed demon but it gets where you're going so you got two storage boxes that, that also pose as uh, ice chest back here got a pretty nice live well so they call this uh, aluminum integrated with i forget what vexus uses but this is all fiberglass live wells fiberglass your storage boxes are fiberglass um, really nice really high quality design the seats do not flip up that's that's a, that's what they flip up but you can see um i got my insurance certification there let's see how much insurance i have i bet i have more than three hundred thousand. let's look hold on where's it at uh let's see 250 deductible 250 deductible 100 deductible 250 deductible liability that's it where's my liability at on this thing Five hundred thousand liability right there. Five hundred thousand. It cost me thirty-nine dollars a month for five hundred thousand liability. You have to have that for all BASS sanctioned tournaments. The club I fish, BASS club, have to have that. Have to have at least three hundred thousand. Don't be like the guy the other day, the kid that didn't have proof of insurance. Man, that's a bummer. So I keep mine in there all the time. The other tackle stores, just like the one across from there, 
I, can, I don't carry a whole lot of tackle with me. And then you can see the, the rod storage here. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, I think you got, there's 12 rod tubes there, which I don't like that either. Max, just if, if I had a, if I had my choice, I would have an option to just have that open. Uh, don't need the rod tubes. I could stuff, if I try real hard, I could stuff three rods in each one of them. 10 so I could I could get 30 rods in there if I stuff it um, But if you put spin rods in there, you can't stuff it. So I get about 20 rods in there max um, This is a cool little deal It's not bad. I don't use this um, the, the other bad thing about this see how far that sticks out That's a bummer because you can't stack your tackle high enough. So I may take that out I just leave it in there so I don't lose it. I came with the uh, with the rod straps here again my only complaint on these is I wish they were moved up a little bit more. Um, but other than that, it's, it's been a pretty nice boat. Again, you, you're gonna you're gonna have some gives and takes uh, with the uh, with the 18 and a half or 18 foot 10 inch boat versus a 20 foot boat. But I did not want to store this thing outside. Here is the panel switch or the the switch column here, horn bilge, internal light, uh, ACC, nav light and live well uh, it's got, got a nice bluetooth or a nice uh usb connection there 12 volt connection there it's pretty slick if you want to run your gopros or whatever um uh, this right here i have this i use for my mapping i use navionics on a ipad uh that's what i use to map and i yeah i can also put it right here i have a bbt dual uh dual graph mount here i have 293s in the back um, and I have two transducers. The reason I have two transducers is it came with one obviously with the boat But it was a GT 54 when I bought the 10 inch unit it came with a GT 56 So I had bass tank put that in the back and I can run both both of those on here. I typically run the uh, 56 but if I jack up one of them I got the other one and I run side and scan most of the time on these units 100 foot left 100 foot right here um, And split them so that works pretty good if I had it do all over again knowing what I know now I would have got a 12 inch unit here and a 12 inch unit up front and left it alone um, but you know lessons learned the other thing i wish i had on this boat and i don't is power poles i do not have power poles on this boat do not come with power poles um, i will have to when i do decide to get power poles i will have to get a jack plate which i think i'll have to get a jack plate and have them put that on so i can mount the power poles to the jack plate i'll probably just get a manual jack plate you can see my dual um i don't know if you can see that my dual transducers in the back and the ladder now at first i thought man that's kind of goofy i don't ever need a ladder i don't know why they put a ladder on there i fell out of the boat in february or march in a tournament and um thank god i had a partner with me and he was able to keep the boat close by so i could climb in did not have my life jacket on i was fishing had a bunch of clothes on fell in 50 degree water and it wasn't a fun deal but uh no harm no foul so here's the live well divided live well um Pretty cool live well. It's, it's a big live well. Um, I run, I like to run these to keep the fish from beating up. Here's a little tip for you when it gets hot, plug your live well um, so you're not bringing that hot water in. I plug my live well, use frozen water bottles every hour, and then put, put all the chemicals and stuff in. So, the only bad thing about the live well it does not come with an auctioneer system, and you cannot put there's nowhere, maybe right here, to put the, uh, the vents, the O2 vents. I may try to put them right here. I haven't had any issues keeping fish alive this year, so that's a that's a plus. Um, so that's pretty much the Vexus. Uh, 18. Oh, it's got a little glove box storage here. It's pretty slick. It is not waterproof. Is not weatherproof. So I carry stuff like my scales, uh, sunscreen, fish fish attractant stuff like that in there. You know, sunscreen cleaner or screen cleaner and stuff like that. So uh, that's pretty much it. Um, it's got a cool look at the tongue up here. Got the cool swing away tone, um, which helps me get it in the garage. Got the spare amount of there. Pretty standard stuff. A lot, I've seen a lot of people complain about the uh, the roller. Again, the rollers, it's flat, but that bow's pretty flat too. So I haven't had any problems with the roller, but you can see it kind of getting shifted around. That may need to be replaced. Um, other than that, so that's the boat, man. I got rid of the tracker. I love the tracker. I had the tracker for bought that tracker new in 2008 and I sold it last year in 2021. I went five months without a boat and went and bought this one. So um, the only complaints I have on it really would be the rod storage. Get rid of the tubes, guys. Nobody wants that. 
Um, I wish it had rise to a shear, but again, you're giving up room when you get an 18 and a half foot boat versus a 20 foot boat. Um, the only complaint I have really is uh, I can't put, it's hard to put auction air system in the live well. And the seats don't flip up for storage, but, but their gas tank is underneath the seat. So I think that's why they, they don't do that. But uh, yeah, it's a great boat. I love it so far. I've fished Bexas. So there it is, my 18 foot 10 inch Bexas uh, aluminum fiberglass infused bass boat. Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you got any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to share anything with you. Uh, I think I talked about what I do different next time, if there will be a next time. Um, again, it's the biggest boat I could fit in my garage. That's why I bought it. Take care, y'all. Funky out.